Adding some creamy macaroni and cheese. The first step is always get those noodles cooking. So you're going to go ahead and cook those al dente. Uh, don't need to show you how to boil water, so we won't go into that. But then you want to add some butter to the pan. Uh, let the spirit lead you in terms of how much butter you add. Uh, some like it a lot, some not as much, but you just need enough to make sure the cheese can start to melt uh, over medium heat. Uh, and then you're going to start to add your cheeses in. Uh, you're going to start off with the white cheeses in this recipe. It's got some mozzarella and Parmesan in there first. And then you want to add your yellow cheeses uh, after that. So we're going to add in some extra sharp here and some uh, Colby and Monterey Jack cheese mixed together. Uh, you can shred the cheese yourself. It gives you a slightly better flavor. You can use, you know, generic brands or name brand. The cheese doesn't really matter as long as it's, you know, real cheese. Uh, you want to get that melt. I add a little of this cheddar cheese condensed soup. It's not really soup, but it helps, helps to to melt the cheese down and get it creamy. You don't have to add it at all. You could just skip right to the next step. Uh, and really, once you get your cheese melted and it can start spinning in the pan like this, you're going to want to add in uh, your milk to get it to start to get creamy. So you're going to add in some whole milk. Whole milk is always best for this. And once the cheese starts to run down like this, you know, like so, you'll know that the creaminess is kind of where you need it to be. And you can move to adding the noodles uh, to the cheese. You want to get it all mixed in in one pan so the cheese start to incorporate through the noodles. Uh, and they can start that marriage now. Uh, then you want to start to mix it all up. And you'll, you know, want to keep spinning and, and circling from the bottom to the top. Make sure all that cheese at the bottom of the pan gets mixed into the noodles and so that it's good distribution. Uh, and you want to get it till you start to hear some moisture. It's going to sound wet, and you'll know when you get to that sound. Like when you hear this, you know that it's 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 where it needs to be. Uh, and then you're going to move from here and start to add it into your pan. And you want to you know get it in there and spread it out so that the the mac and cheese mixture is evenly distributed around the pan, so that it can cook evenly. Uh, excuse my spinning pan there, but you want to get in there and just get it good and smooth it all out. Because uh, then from here, you want to start to add your top layer of cheese because, you know, mac and cheese isn't great unless it's got that, you know, nice crisp layer of cheese on the top. So you want to add some sharp cheddar here. You could add, you know, mozzarella if you want to, just whatever, you know, you want your top to look like. You want to get it added in here. While all this is happening, you're preheating your oven to 350 degrees because you want to put it in there for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the cheese is golden and bubbly. You can also at this stage put it on your smoker if you want because smoked macaroni and cheese is amazing. Uh, when you peek in your oven or smoker and it starts to look like this, you'll know that it's time to pull it out. Nice golden crisp cheese there. It's bubbling. Uh, and then, you know, if you can stick a fork in it and it stands straight up, to me, your cheese, your mac and cheese is thick enough, creamy enough, and that's how you know it's done. I mean, that looks great. Time to plate and eat. This pan won't last very long at my house. It typically goes pretty quickly, but you get a nice look at how amazing that mac and cheese is. Mac and cheese goes great with everything, so it's always a go-to dish. Play around with the types of cheeses that you want to use. Find what works for you and your family. Uh, or even just, you know, it's, it's just versatile. But, you know, enjoy and have a good one.